I think most people are very comfortable with the idea that medical research will alleviate suffering for people who very much need help and need healing of terrible illnesses. When you look at how much of the short time uh, that he was here on earth, Jesus spent his time healing people who were ill, you can't help but think that that was supposed to be noticed and that that is one of our mandates as followers of Christ is to try to do what we can to alleviate suffering and to help those uh, who are in need. But what does that mean when it comes to not just helping uh, an ill person, but actually trying to enhance functioning of people who are already healthy? This is clearly an area of considerable uh, tumult and debate. Many of the scenarios that are put forward about how we will use genome research to enhance people aren't very realistic. They assume that genes are very deterministic, which for the most part they're not. If you decided that you were going to manipulate the genome of your children in order to produce the perfect baby who would grow up to be an A-plus in mathematics and a quarterback on the football team and, oh yes, play first violin in the orchestra, you'd likely to be very disappointed because none of those things can be, in fact, driven by the specific DNA sequences you might want to try to engineer. They're heavily influenced by environment and childhood experiences and free will. So many of those scenarios of enhancement don't hold up very well to scientific scrutiny.